Welcome back everybody to Cinema Geeks. We're going to be checking out the trailer for the highly anticipated upcoming film by the one and only Jordan Peele. He's back. He's back with another one and it's called Nope. But before we even get into that, let's give you guys a home round of applause. I think I like the name Nope because on black people are in a situation of something that doesn't make any sense and looks super scary or you're super uh, against the odds of us making out of it, we're just gonna be like, nope, I'm not fucking with that. So it's a great title. I like it. It has Kiki Palmer in it, Daniel Kaluuya, and I forgot who else. Um, but you know what? Let's just watch the trailer and see what this is about. Y'all ready to watch it? Because I'm ready to watch it. Roll the fish. And now, your trailer presentation. Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs to create a motion picture was a two second clip of a black man on a horse? Nope. And that man is my great great grandfather. Great. There's another great, great. grandfather. Great. One more great. But that's why back at the Haywood Ranch, as the only black owned horse trainers in Hollywood, we like to say since the moment pictures could move, yeah, skin it again. Hey, skin it again. Uh-oh. Are you looking at the sky tonight? No city lights in the sky? Something's gonna go wrong. What's a bad miracle? Yo, oh, what? They got work for that. back a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Where are we going to go back? I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. My other camera died. We're going to be on this camera now. What's a bad miracle? She was like, nah, nah, nah. See, that's that nope. That's that nope. Bring that trailer. Wow. All right. We are back. And that was the trailer for Nope, Jordan Peele's next horror film. I mean, this dude is killing it right now, right? You know, before I even get into what I feel about that trailer and what I saw, I'm going to have to rock out and give that a 3.5. Why not a four? I don't know. I'm just going to say 3.5 right now. This shit looks fire, all right? It looks fire. You know, um, interesting fact is that I like how, where he's doing. Like, he always creates a specific and unique story of the characters to base this horror on. Like, this obviously looks like it's some sort of, like, alien invasion. I'm just assuming that's what it is. But, like, you know... All the other alien invasions is like, oh, a suburban family and aliens invade or urban aliens. Like he went out and chose 
black cowboys or, or black ranch owners like what that's dope like he always finds a unique way to put like his his black char black characters and actors into a good story build up uh man i don't know but uh fun fact about that 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 clip that she was saying her, her who her grandfather was a, a part of this like first ever uh film uh, the the you can't find the name of the writer i mean maybe you could but it's hard i was just doing research and i couldn't find the actual name of the writer but instead you found the horse the horse's name is sally gardner um this was i think shot in 1872 but it took the photographer his name is kind of weirdly spelled but i think it's pronounced edward or edward Mui bridge he's like an english photographer or whatever and it took him years to basically put this 20 second clip together uh he was hired by some dude who owned that horse named leland stanford some baron in um uh, railroads or whatever like that it was a whole bunch of railroad tycoons in uh, the late 1880s they called it the gilded age you know there's even a tv show about it right now but uh leland stanford owns the horse sally gardner and it says that uh, it took Edward or Edward Muybridge like years to uh, to basically even put that whole image together. He used like several different cam cameras, and he had them all attached to like strings or something like that. I don't, I don't know. do your research on it. It's called the Horse in Motion. But what I liked about it is that like when you like you there's like a little gap in history. Like who the hell was that person on the horse? Right? We don't know. Jordan Pill goes and takes that and creates a whole film off of it i don't know maybe it is more story that jordan pill got from that horse in motion um film but that's actually dope uh but back to nope um that uh, it looks dope and it also has kiki palmer it has daniel kulia as glenn was in there um the situation that they're in is cool and I, I like how she they had the moment she was like nah 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 because that's exactly what happens when we be seeing crazy stuff we'd be like nope that's what she was going through it was basically nope she should she just didn't want to say the the film title there but it, it was a big nope for her um but um yeah that looks dope i don't know but what do y'all what do y'all what do y'all think about that but moving on to the next how high <laughs> How hot is this? This is hot. This is going to be hot. I don't think a lot of people saw the trailer. The trailer just dropped today, Sunday, February 13th. Um, and I, I don't, it's, it's, so it's, it's going to probably be word of mouth as of right now for the trailer to get around, but I'm pretty sure this is hot. I think a lot of people know that Jordan Pill has something else coming out. Black director doing horror, not just directing it, but also writing it. It looks good. He's doing good. He's hot. This movie's going to be hot. Daniel Kaluuya is hot. Kiki Palmer is hot. It's going to be a hot project. It's going to be hot in the streets. Um, guys, let us know what you think of this uh, video, this trailer. Also, leave your rating down below in the comment section. And, um, yeah, um, let us know. Also, don't forget to like, um, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This is Cinema Geeks. We out of here. Peace. <laughs> Bye, suckers. These hot dogs are gonna make America great. Hey guys, I don't know if you heard, but Waves Club YouTube channel is splitting up into three different sections. You're gonna have Waves Club for all your comedy skits, then you're gonna have Press Play University for all your dope educational videos, and then we got Cinema Geeks for all your film related and media topics. And this will all be called Waves Digital.